we have some fantastic students, very good students, who are really interested in doing research and also interested to learn. There's tons of uh, different areas of chemistry. All are just as good as the other one, and uh, it all depends on what you love to do. You know, I love analytical and organic, uh, so that's what I like to do, and that's what I like to you know, get my hands dirty with in the lab. As a researcher, I also teach these students in the classrooms and basically providing them with the fundamentals and principles of analytical chemistry. And with these principles, they can apply them to their research projects. Here at TRU, we're really proud of um, our connection with students um, in terms of having them involved in some of our projects that we do. Some of the research work um, includes investigation of antimicrobial properties of novel compounds and of peptides and research on platinum and theoretical research using computers. We provide a good opportunity for our students um, in a wide range of chemistry research projects. So lab experiences are critical. You know, from first year, right at the start, we get them doing things in the lab. We have them hands-on instruments, things that they wouldn't necessarily normally see at first year. I'm an undergraduate um, research student and I'm currently working for Kingsley and I'm only in my third year. It's really nice at TRU because the class size is so small that you're on pretty much a first name basis with all of your teachers. And a great chance to uh, build rapport with my professor and uh, really get to know him personally. We do um, get to know the students quite well and by the time they get to um, fourth year and are graduating we know them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. This really helps when um, we are asked to provide reference letters for jobs, either summer jobs or future employment, or even continuing on into graduate studies or other professional programs. Something that we're really proud of that we've been involved here at Thompson Rivers University since 2006 is what we call the BCILN. So how it works is a distant student or a student in a rural university or a university that just doesn't have the instrument that we have here, they can prepare their samples either at home or at their own institution. They send them in to us here and then they actually take control of not only what they see, but they actually control our instrument from their location. Our students have actually done very well and they normally uh, move on to very, very good careers uh, after they go through the education year at, at TRU. One of the core values of our chemistry program is uh, how important teaching is to us. Students come first and when we think about how we design our courses and the kinds of experiences that we want to have them in the lab, we're always considering what they're going to learn, what they're going to get out of it, and how it's going to stand them in good stead for where they go in the future. I'm Heidi Hooten and Henley. I'm a chemistry professor at TRU. My name is Kingsley Donko and I'm a chemistry faculty at TRU. I'm Katie Sparrow. I'm a third year Bachelor of Science student majoring in chemical biology. So my name is Taryn Main, and I'm currently taking my Bachelor of Science. My name is Christina Moore. I'm a chemistry lab faculty here at TRU. My name is Sharon Brewer and I teach chemistry here at TRU. My name is Bruno Chanel and I'm a chem prof here at Thompson Rivers University.